News are me. Before the Jackson Hole meeting, stocks go down and the dollar goes up. Wednesday was the eighth day in a row that Asian stock markets fell. Investors were worried about the size of the problems in China's property market and were preparing for a hawkish message from the Federal Reserve at this week's Jackson Hole Symposium. The Nikkei fell by the same amount as MSCI's largest index of Asia-Pacific stocks outside of Japan. On most major currencies, the US dollar was just below all-time highs, and on the euro, it was close to a 20-year high. After two days of heavy losses, Wall Street stabilized on Tuesday. Weak U.S. data eased worries about a rate hike, but S&P 500 futures fell 0.2% in Asia, while FTSE and European futures also fell slightly. Late on Tuesday, Minneapolis Fed President Neil Kashkari was the latest Fed official to say that controlling inflation is the most important thing. Traders expect Fed Chair Jerome Powell, who will speak from Wyoming on Friday, to say something similar. Rob Carnell, an ING economist, said it might be better for Powell to say, right now, all we care about is getting inflation down. Bond yields would go up a little more, which is what was wanted, and then you could start to ease, later. Traders are getting more optimistic about when the Fed funds rate might reach its highest point. Based on current pricing, the Fed funds rate could reach its highest point in the middle of 2023, around 3.7%. After rising throughout August, short-term Treasury yields have stayed the same due to bad news about the U.S. economy. Tuesday, U.S. surveys of services and manufacturing were less than expected, and in July, sales of new homes hit a six-and-a-half-year low. Yields on two-year bonds stayed the same on Wednesday at 3.307%, and works on 10-year bonds fell by two basis points BPS, to 3.0332%.